Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's see how we apply that model conversion onto a circuit. And here we're going to do uh, an example where we have the uh, coupling such that it's and that we have the polarity on the same side and we have the polarity on the other side. Everything else about the circuit is exactly the same. Now how we convert the model in such a way that we can set it up where we now have induced voltages inside the circuit which makes it a lot easier to come up with the Kirchhoff loop equations. All right, so we have the voltage induced in this circuit because of what happens between with the mutual coupling and what happens with the current in the other circuit. And we do the same over here, the voltage induced because of the mutual inductance and the current in the other circuit. So the only difference here is that this is, is affected by the current in this circuit, this here is affected by the current in this circuit. And notice it's exactly the same. The only difference in this circuit here, even though we have the, the inductors uh, uh, connected in a different way. Now the only difference is the direction of the induced voltages and the current. So let's try to figure it out. First of all, when the coupling is the same on both inductors here, notice that the current and the voltage induced here will be in the opposite direction from the current here. So here you can see that we have the current in this direction, which means we're going to have induced voltage and current in this direction the other side. That means the potential is going to be plus here and minus here, and the direction the current induced will be like this. So this will be the induced current in this direction. Now over here notice that the current will go in this, in this direction in circuit 1 which means the induced voltage will be in the opposite direction so we have a plus there and a minus there and the induced current will be in that direction. But in this example notice that the inductors are connected with opposite polarities which means that everything will be reversed which means the induced current will be in the same direction as we have with this current. That means we have a plus here and a minus there with induced current going this way. So I induced. And over here, because the coupling is opposite, as we can see, that means the current in I1 goes this direction. That means induced voltage and current will be in the same direction, plus here, minus here, with induced current going in this direction. And as long as you keep that in mind, it makes it easy to convert for something like that into something where it can much more easily come up with the Kirchhoff loop equations. And that's what we're going to do in our next example. That is how it's done.